In this video, I will be showing you how to make brioche stitch, which is a super stretchy and thick stitch, and it looks the same on both sides. And we use it in our Merrill sweater. So today I'll be using our 6.5 millimeter rosewood knitting needles and two strands of our Sugar Baby Alpaca yarn in rusty orange. Let's get started. So begin by casting on an even number of stitches. First, you will work a setup row. Begin by slipping your first stitch purlwise, and then without moving your yarn, insert your right needle as if to knit the next stitch. And then knit the stitch by bringing the yarn over your needle and then knitting that stitch. So you've essentially created a yarn over whilst also knitting the next stitch. Next, bring your yarn back through the needles to the front of your work, slip the next stitch purlwise, and then go to knit the next stitch by bringing your yarn over your needle and knitting it, therefore creating a yarn over whilst also knitting. So continue to repeat those steps until you get to the end of your row. So bring the yarn to your, the front of your work, slip the next stitch purlwise, knit the next stitch whilst also creating a yarn over. Yarn to the front, slip purlwise, knit. Yarn to the front, slip purlwise, knit. And keep repeating those steps to form the setup row of brioche stitch. So you've now completed your setup row. Once you've worked your setup row for brioche stitch, you're ready to work the pattern row. And this pattern row, you will just repeat for the entirety of your project until your piece measures your desired length. So to begin working the pattern row, make sure that the yarn is in the front of your work and slip the first stitch purlwise. Now insert your right hand needle through the next stitch and the yarn over which crosses over it. Take your yarn, pass it over the needle and knit those two stitches together. So you formed a yarn over whilst also knitting together the stitch and its accompanying yarn over from the previous row. So just keep repeating those steps right across your row and right across all subsequent rows to work in brioche stitch. So pass the yarn to the front of your work, slip the next stitch purlwise, and then knit the next stitch and its yarn over together. Yarn to the front of your work, slip the next stitch purlwise, knit the next stitch and its yarn over. And just keep repeating those steps right across your row. So there you have it. Just keep repeating those steps to work in brioche stitch and eventually your piece will start looking something like this. <laughs> <laughs> 